inspiration behind the dinosaur that pooped the past? Um, I think... Back to the Future? Yeah, Back to the Future, time travel. We wanted to do a time travel book. The first two are about things that we uh, we love, Christmas and uh, and space. And so we wanted to continue the theme of doing uh, of doing books about uh, our characters that are in situations around things that we love and time travel was just seemed like the, the next appropriate one. Mm. Christmas, space, time travel. Time travel. We're um, running out of things that we love now. But it also enabled us to go back in time to the past to when dinosaurs were around and introduce some new characters. Oh, uh, that's right, yeah. So that that was fun to do because we knew, it, we, we thought it would be cool to have some more dinosaurs in this book rather than just the big guy, the big poopy guy. Mm. So there are some new ones in this book, so that's been fun. The Dinosaur That Pooped The Past by him. And him. And illustrated by Gary Parsons. Some grannies are old, some grannies are great, and Danny's was turning 1008. He sang... Happy birthday. With Dinosaur 2, then us to go out, there was playing to do. You cannot go out till your plates are clean, said Granny while serving up sludge that was green. There were broccoli eggs and hard Brussels sprouts. The dinosaur slot the lot into his mouth. Then in two seconds, when Gran wasn't looking, it ate Danny's pile of awful Gran cooking. Well done, Granny said. You've eaten enough. Now you can go out and do awesome cool stuff. They ran straight to the tree with a swing underneath, but it hadn't been swung since Gran lost her teeth. They swung back and forth. They went up, they went down. Hiya! Dan said. Let's go all the way round. But this wasn't an ordinary swing. It had powers. Powers to turn back the minutes and hours. They counted to three and pushed hard off the ground. They looped and they looped and they turned time around. 